Since around 2000, we've seen syphilis re-emerging, which means it's becoming more uh, prevalent across the world, and particularly in industrialised countries such as Brazil. We were able to study a large number of patients, so over 100 patients with syphilis in the eye, um, and many of whom had both eyes affected. So we were able to get a snapshot of syphilis in the eye at a time when it's re-emerging. It seems that people who are infected with the HIV virus are particularly uh, susceptible to contracting syphilis. The drugs that are used to treat HIV change your immune system and there's thought, it's thought that um, perhaps that can make it more easy to contract syphilis. First of all, our study showed that ocular syphilis is increasing in incidence, which is something that is clearly very concerning. The other thing that it showed us was that patients weren't presenting until they'd had the problem for some months. And that's not all the fault of the patient. Part of that is also because doctors aren't used to seeing syphilis anymore. If you have syphilis in the eye and it's not picked up for an extended period, there's a chance that you'll go on to develop complications in the eye and that they'll affect the vision. And actually, if we look at the group of patients that we studied in this, um, in this report, more than half of those patients had lost vision to below driving level. Brazil is a much larger population, and so if we want to take a snapshot in time where we see enough people that we get a good snapshot to understand the disease, Brazil is a really good place to be looking at. These days, we're much more mobile across the globe, so there's more chance to spread all sorts of infections, including syphilis, around the world just because we're, we're moving around, we're, we're travelling for holiday, we're migrating. At Flinders University, we're actually sister university to University of São Paulo, which is one of the biggest universities in the world, and it's in Brazil. So there's lots of good reasons to be doing research with people in Brazil.